Hello everybody, this is Martin Kroller from Germany, Cologne. Um, today we're going to speak about um, a special equipment for video filmers. Um, in this case, the very GH5, GH5S cage. We do a lot of filming. Mostly it's uh, all around the world. It's very documentary type of filming. And in this kind of filming, where you don't have the biggest cameras and the biggest production crew, you have a lot of a lot of dangers for the cameras. Um, and I'm, up to now, we were working with the small rig um, cages. As you can see, we have pretty amazing camera setups. In this case, it's a GH5. It's an Atomos um, a monitor, the XLR audio devices, everything with the wooden grip. Everything so far still a small camera, a very mobile and compact camera, but it's a GH5. And you know, what is the, the most vulnerable point of a GH5? I can show you. It's the monitor. Um, it's a one, a one point attached monitor. You can put it to the side. And if you are filming and you want to look at the monitor from the top, you have to bring it to the side of the camera. And it's only attached at one single point. You can and swivel and turn it, but it's very, very unstable. We already had one camera broken because of the monitor, which was with a, only a small drop, no, not a drop, but a small amount of force um, being ripped away from the camera. So I was looking for a special cage. And cage, I don't mean that Small Rig is a bad company, totally different, we are using all of their gear to, to put around a cage, but I was looking for a, a more specific cage for GH5. And I found the very cage from, from the Netherlands. Um, amazing, amazing. I can show you, you have three components. One is the cage, one is the grip, and one is this. And this is the most amazing thing I, I've, I've seen in a long time. Um, I can show you, uh, I can have to detach it. No, hold on, the screw is not yet. Okay, so here you can see the problem. It's the monitor. And you, you, you're filming and very dangerous. So the cage is perfect. You can come and, 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 and you, can, you can... Every button is free and you can get your finger on that specific button. But this feature is amazing. You have a viewfinder and a, a sun hood in one and you put it over the monitor and it, it is attached by a, a metal to the cage. So you screw it tight and then you can tighten it here. And now you have the monitor inside that whole thing and it is attached to a, a steel frame at two points, one here and one there. You can still turn it up and down. You can open the viewfinder and have it as a, like a, a single sun hood, but this is the most amazing thing, it's protected. If something happens, and by the way we do a lot of traveling around the world, we do a lot of uh, filming in planes and stuff like that, and you always, when you travel with cameras, you always put them up in the, in the, in the plane compartment. Um, it's so protected. The quality of the viewfinder, you can close it so it's not getting dusty and, 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 and dirty. You have a, a dioptry, or I don't know how the English word is, um, if you have bad eyes, you can correct, um, you can correct it. And as I showed, you can open it and have a, a small sun hood. So this thing is really amazing. It's, it's, it's going to be the cage for GH5, GH5S for us. Now we're going to start building the whole cage. I prefer wooden handle. I do need uh, some extra um, stuff. And by the way, we do use a lot of the XLR audio uh, stuff. And this is already um, prepared to have this XLR audio device being mounted on top of the camera. So the cage has a specific, um, specific form where the, the, the XLR dog fits in. You have to open the screw on the bottom and then you have to put it on. But, um, well, you can see it would be like this. So perfect to um, have audio already uh, attached to the cage. They thought about 
actually everything. And it's really, really good um, to have the camera stable. The, the whole construction, you can really form pressure onto the, onto the viewfinder to have a, a three-point stabilization. So with normal viewfinders, you always have to hold the camera with your arm there and your arm there. And you always are very careful to not put a lot of pressure onto the viewfinder because the display could break. So with this, oh, sorry, the audio. With this, I can really, really put pressure on that thing here because it's it's really stable and you do have an awful lot better filming experience and the material coming out of that cage is way more stabilized without the stabilization system or a gimbal but it's way more stabilized because you can you can have a, a way better grip of the camera so that is enough for today and um, if you own a gh5 gh5s gh4 and you do a lot of filming then Please take a look at that, that will make your life easier and you can save a lot of repair money if you're not getting your display being ripped away from the camera.